do well with Samantha. I'm Samantha and this is day six of the Pilates Every Damn Day Challenge. And today is all about the powerhouse. So that is our core, the muscles in our back, even our glutes a little bit as well. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe and please make sure to like this uh, video. Please leave me some comments. I would love to hear how you're getting on with this. And if you are sharing your progress on social media, make sure you use the hashtag Pilates every damn day and the hashtag well with Samantha so that I can see you, I can like, I can share, and that I can celebrate your successes and your wins with you as well. But without further ado, let's get started. Slowly roll down with control. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Now knees in tabletop position, taking the arms to the sides, and we're going to bring the legs all the way down. Imagine drawing a circle with your knees, and we're gonna exhale as we come back up. Going again in that same direction, knees to the right on an inhale, taking them down and exhaling as we bring them back up. One more time here. And then we're gonna switch sides. So what are we working here? Well, first of all, the obliques, because that's what's allowing us to do the rotation. The hip muscles. The quads for keeping us upright, or keeping our legs upright anyway. And pretty much our core, all of our abdominal muscles especially, are really working to keep us stable here. Ready for a double leg stretch, lifting the head, neck and shoulders up off the mat, chin tucked in at the chest, bringing the left knee into the chest and double pulsing it as we exhale. Really focusing all of our energy into our abs here, making sure that our head is just resting on our shoulders, nice and relaxed. Exhale, 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 exhale. Give me one more here, here. Double leg stretch, knees to chest, extend super long, Lifting all the way up into our boat. Holding onto the back of the thighs if you want to for support. Pointing those toes, extending through the toes. Shoulders roll back and down, chest open. Option to release the hands to the sides. Really drawing the belly button in towards the spine for stability. Holding it here. And when we're ready, just bringing it all the way down nice and slowly into our banana and go ahead, raise the left leg up, elbows nice and wide, coming into our L crunch, toes pointed, lifting up as we exhale and back down. Switching sides, right leg comes up, Left leg extended. Exhaling with every lift up, making sure that we use our abdominals to lift us up, not our neck. Knees into chest. And let's roll like a ball, giving our spine a nice massage here, just taking it slowly trying to make sure that our feet don't touch the mat as we come up, just to help improve our stability here. And when we're ready, we're going to come into an open leg rocker. So we're grasping onto those ankles, lifting all the way up, pointing the toes, taking it all the way back, lifting up. This is not easy. The challenge really comes when we bring ourselves up into that seated position and we try not to fall back or fall too far forwards. So really works our powerhouse and our sense 
of stability, making sure the back is neutral. It takes a bit of getting used to, but with practice, it's like anything. Practice is what gets us there. And bringing ourselves all the way up for teaser, holding here, rolling the shoulders back and down. Hold it here, belly button drawn in, chest open. It's okay if you're feeling the shakes here, that's totally fine. That's normal. Shoulders roll back and down. Bringing it all the way back, rolling down like a ball. Getting ready to repeat this time, making sure that with our corkscrews, our legs are extended, toes pointed, taking the legs down to the right and exhaling as we bring them all the way back up to center. So this is um, a little bit more difficult than it was with the knees bent, but that's just because our range of motion has increased. So the option is to totally keep the legs bent if you prefer. Essentially, it's giving us the same uh, workout. It's just that we're either increasing or decreasing our range of motion. Exhaling as we bring the legs back up, switching direction. Really working the abdominal muscles here, the obliques, the rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis keeping us stable, making sure our lower back is pressed into the mat, no hollow backs. Lifting all the way up, knees into chest. Double leg stretch here this time instead of singles. Knees to chest, stretch super long. Knees to chest as we inhale, exhale, stretch super long. Give me one more here, knees to chest. And exhale as we stretch long, bringing ourselves up into that bow position. Option to keep the hands just behind the thighs for support, rolling the shoulders back and down, belly button drawn in. And just leaning back as far as we can, as far as is comfortable for us, chest open, releasing the hands to the side and holding here, toes pointed. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Extend it down slowly here, getting ready for our L crunch. Lifting the leg all the way up on the left, keeping that right leg up off the ground by an inch, elbows nice and wide we're going to come up for four, three, two, and one. Switching legs, up, three, exhale as you lift. Last one, bring the knees into the chest, and we're gonna rock again, just like a ball. Giving our spines a nice massage, trying not to rely too much on the motion, but instead as we come to the top, trying not to let our feet touch the ground. It's okay if they do, but just seeing if it's possible for us to keep our stability when we get to the top without our feet on the ground. And this time when we come back, grasping onto the ankles, bringing ourselves up into our open leg rocker. This move is not easy, takes a little bit of getting used to. And even when you think you've got it, some days you get it and some days you really don't. Belly button drawn in for stability, toes pointed. Getting ready to come into our teaser. In a moment, lifting all the way up, Toes pointed, shoulders roll back and down, belly button drawn in, chest open. Stretching, extending through the toes. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And when you're ready, we're going to release 
the arms if you want to. Feeling the shake. My legs are shaking. Draw the belly button in. Hold a little bit longer, just a little bit longer and slowly release it all the way down and stretch along and relax. Well done if you made it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. My God, my abs are on fire. <laughs> and I hope that yours are too in a good way. I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow for day seven of the Pilates Every Damn Day Challenge, where we will be easing ourselves into the end of the week with a full body Pilates chill out sesh. I'll hopefully see you then. Take care, stay well, bye.